The sixth letter of the alphabet is Vav. I've got to read you this though. Luke chapter 19 verse 40. What a fascinating verse this is because Jesus is, is in Jerusalem and all the people are praising him and the Pharisees tell the people off and Jesus says, he warns the Pharisees and he says this, Jesus answered and said unto them, I tell you that if these hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. Isn't that interesting? You know, that bears on all this subject of, of joy being the basis of creation and praise. You know, if, th if those people who were praising Jesus at the time were almost acting as a kind of safety valve, if you like. There was so much praise bursting out of creation that these people started praising. And Jesus said, if you stop then, if you stop the safety valve, then the stones will immediately cry out. <laughs> You've got to feel this stuff, you know, um, because it's in the heart of creation. And uh, when you read the gospels you know you see jesus walking around you just see the joy of god there walking around and um, that's coming again to this world when jesus returns hallelujah so let's be a precursor to that shall we and in our lives be full of joy ourselves hallelujah so let's look at the the valve anyhow the sixth letter of the hebrew alphabet the valve rejoices in being connection and transformation two concepts brought together you remember there's often a couple of concepts brought together in these letters connection and transformation come together there is no adhesive that can compare with the holding power of the vav the hebrew letter vav means literally and and the word vav means a hook you can probably see by the shape of it it's simply a hook so a hook and the and the word and both the same thing isn't it these two ideas are related because as the hook connects objects so the word and connects words and ideas within a sentence it's a hook that brings things together now there's two powerful illustrations given in Jewish thought that illustrate this power that is within the Vav, this song, if you like, of the Vav. The Vav delights to be a connector. And both are found in the first verse of the Bible. The initial appearance of a letter, by the way, in the Torah is highly significant as it provides, as it were, the headquarters for the letter thereafter. It's a kind of nucleus. It defines the, 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 the essence of the letter. Now in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, we, re we get the first vav. Now you'll know how that sentence goes, we've said it before. Bereshit bara Elohim et hashemayim ve et haaretz. There's your vav right there, ve et haaretz. In the first appearance of the letter, it is holding together earth and heaven. You see, it's bereshit bara Elohim et hashemayim the heavens, ve'et ha'aretz. So it's holding together the heavens, ha'shemayim, and the earth. It's a connector. There is no force like the valve that holds things together. There's one thing. Now there's another thing. The valve is the 22nd. It's in the 22nd position in the verse of, of the letters. And this is understood to allude to the 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet, by the way, there are 22 letters. So the 22nd position of the Vav in this first sentence of the Bible refers to the 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet and that the Vav possesses the power of connecting all the forces of those letters together. Isn't that interesting? Christians will no doubt think of Colossians chapter 1, verse 17, which says Christ is before all things, and by him all things consist or hold together. This vav, you know, it's, uh, it kind of speaks to us of Jesus, doesn't it? That all things hold together in him. Now it's got some other value, some other power. We spoke about transformation, didn't we? It's connection, the power to connect and the power to transform. It's called by the sages the vav that reverses time. Now, you need to focus a little bit, concentrate a little bit, because it's a little bit more difficult to understand, but it's, it's worth working at because it's an interesting thought. By the simple addition of a vav to a word, a thing which does not exist comes into existence. And I'll give you an example. 
In English, we say, let there be light, Genesis 1 verse 3. And this light does not yet exist. Then we say, and there was light. Now the light does exist. In order to transit from what doesn't exist into something which does exist, we need to remove the two words, let and be, and replace them with two different words, and was. Do you see? Let there be light is changed to, and there was light. We change the sentence in order to, we have to kind of work at the sentence to make the thing that wasn't, to make it exist. Not so in Hebrew. In Hebrew, this is performed by the single vav being added to the original phrase. So it reads, Yehi or Vahi or. That says the whole thing. So Yehi or, let there be light, just put the vav in, Vahi or. The v, suddenly light appears. And so you see, that little valve, that one little letter, has an immense power to transform. And it, 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 it takes something that isn't and makes it is. <laughs> takes something that doesn't exist and now it exists. There is no other letter in any other alphabet in all the world that I know that has this power. And interestingly, in modern Hebrew, I don't believe they've retained this power of the valve. But in ancient Hebrew, in the biblical Hebrew, the power is there. It's fascinating. So, the valve has the genius of single-handedly transferring a thing from non-existence to existence. What will be is converted into what is. It has the power to change a thing's position in time. It forms the connection between the past and the future and is called, some have called it, the valve that reverses time. Don't underestimate the humble valve. Don't underestimate any of the letters. It rejoices in the power to transform reality. That's the joy of the Vav, that's the song of the Vav. And of course it loves to connect things. God does great things, you know, with ease and discretion, doesn't he? With ease and discretion and generally quietly, you know, he, there's a humility about God. I was lost and Jesus found me. I was like a sheep that went astray and he came and sought me out, hallelujah. I was blind, but now I see. He did these things quietly in my life and probably in your life too. He can, he can be loud when he wants to be so that people hold their ears, in fact, and, and cry for him to speak no more. But most of the time, God moves quietly. He called us out of darkness into his marvellous light. He rejoices in his power to transform our reality and to bring into existence something that wasn't before existing, namely eternal life for you and for me. Hallelujah. So to summarise this letter, when you look at this letter, think of connection, think of a hook, think of the word and, all related. Think of the miracle of transformation. Think of Jesus saving you and I. Hallelujah. This is the song of the valve.